I am Vanessa. Ciao! I am Corinna. This is Italian food easy peasy. We are the, the Bellardinelli Bellardinelli sisters. sisters. Ciao! I cannot stress enough how Italian food it's all about simplicity. It's not like French food that puts together these refined ingredients in a refined way to create a refined food. Italian food it's all about simple fresh ingredients put together in a very simple way to create a wonderful tasteful dish. And the dish we're talking about today, it's in fact very simple and very tasteful. It is spaghetti alla carbonara, carbonara spaghetti. This dish is traditional from Lazio, which is the region where Rome is. Now, the original recipe calls for guanciale. Guanciale is a very specific part of the pork, it's the cheek. But I also realized that guanciale may be difficult to find. It is difficult sometimes to find in Italy, let alone outside Italy. So, it is totally fine to use pancetta instead of guanciale. If you can't even find pancetta, then you can use a thick bacon, not thin sliced bacon, thick sliced bacon, chopped up, or a sausage. Now, let's stop talking and let's start cooking. For the spaghetti alla carbonara, we need very few ingredients. First of all, we need the pancetta, about 100 grams of pancetta. We need about 100 grams of parmesan or parmesan and pecorino romano, half and half. We need two eggs, about 500 grams of spaghetti because this is for a quantity for four to six people depending on how much you eat. And then we need of course salt, pepper and olive oil. First of all, fill a large saucepan with water and bring it to the boil. In the meantime, we're going to prepare the carbonara sauce to add to the spaghetti. While we wait for uh, the water to boil, we warm up three tablespoons of olive oil in a large frying pan and add the pancetta. We now have to wait a couple of minutes for the pancetta to fully cook. The spaghetti. That's the way you put the spaghetti in so they don't all stick together. Like a bit of a Shanghai game. It's time to drain the pasta. Please remember every single Italian pasta dish calls for pasta al dente. That means the pasta needs to be on the hard side. If, it's, if it feels hard, it's time to pull it out. I can't stress this hard enough. Now let's drain the pasta, put it directly in the egg mix. Remember, pasta al dente, not overcooked like it happened in most restaurants I've been in North America, the UK and Australia. Basically everywhere other than Italy. Okay, we do this. We mix it with the eggs and we also mix the pancetta cubing. It's time to mix everything and plate the carbonara dish. <laughs> 